بين الرجاء والخوف قلبي طائر So let's go through it insha'Allah ta'ala. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In Islam, there is a sixth pillar that every Muslim must believe in. It is called to believe in qadr, it's good and it's bad. What is qadr and what does it mean good and bad? Sometimes the word qadr in the Quran appears in a different word. Sometimes it appears as qada and sometimes qadr. Both of these words are the same thing. They're both synonymous. They go hand in hand together. But for those who want to become technical to know the difference between qada and qadr is the following. Qada is literally means a final order, a final decision, a fixed in advance qada. It's usually when a judge makes a judgment and it's final. In Islam, it means something that has been decided and ordered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all his creations, whether it is in terms of its creation, destruction, or changes. Then we go to the word qadar. Qadar means pre-measurement or set to a certain amount and executed, like rolled out, made to exist. Islamically, it is something that has been measured and set at a certain amount since the beginning of time so that it follows Allah's knowledge which comes before everything. So qada is what will be and qadar is how it will be. In a very simple sentence, just take this sentence. You can say qada and qadar is the belief, the Muslim belief, that everything that happens is pre-measured and predetermined by Allah and only Allah before he created creation based on his infinite knowledge his will his power his wisdom his justice and his mercy so here are some other definitions it's fate and destiny that is all from Allah fate and destiny is all determined and measured by Allah Everything that happens is by Allah's will. Everything has been predetermined. Allah created everything, decided everything about everything and determined its destiny. Everything that will ever be in is written, willed, created and known by Allah perfectly. Nothing happens without his will. And all of this happened 50,000 years before Allah created creation. That's in the authentic hadith. And there are many verses in the Quran that talk about qada and qadar in this way. For example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna kulla shay'in khalaqnahu bi qadar wa ma amruna illa wahidatun kalamhin bil basar. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al Qamar, uh, everything, everything we have created in a precise measure and preordainment. And our command and matter is only but like the blink of an eye, meaning the end of time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when the end of time comes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is like the blink of an eye. It also means that whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to create or to happen, He only says be, and it is. We see another verse in the Quran talking about qada and predestination, Allah's decision, when it talks about the story of Jesus, son of Mary, alayhim as -salam. When he was born of a miraculous birth, the Christians later on said that he has a father who is God. He's a son of God, they said. And others, they said it was, uh, it was um, uh, Joseph the carpenter who, astaghfirullah either married Maryam or they say he fornicated Maryam. billah, God forbid. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answers them by saying that ذَلِكَ عِيسَى بْنُ مَرْيَمَ Allah says in Surah Maryam ذَلِكَ عِيسَى بْنُ مَرْيَمَ قَوْلُ الْحَقِّ الَّذِي فِيهِ يَمْتَرُونَ مَا كَانَ لِلَّهِ أَنْ يَتَّخِذَ مِنْ وَلَدٍ سُبْحَانَهُ إِذَا قَضَى أَمْرًا فَإِنَّ 
فإنما يقول له كن فيكون. Very easy and very simple. Allah says that is Jesus, son of Mary, in truthful fact. It is not befitting, nor is it possible for Allah to beget a son. Far away is he from any imperfection. When he decrees and decides a matter, he merely says, be, kun, and it is. What does it mean? It means that Isa alayhi salam was born without a father. People were so, uh, it was very strange for them to say, how, how? So Allah replies, says, he just says, be, and it is. Had he been born a normal birth, nobody will be shocked or astonished. Allah wouldn't have to say, be, it would be like everyone else. So it was a miracle. Miracle. So brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees everything and says be and it is. This is called qada. And once it's done, nothing can change it. Qada and qadar, predestination, fate of everybody, your destiny, your Allah's will, nothing happens without Allah's will, is good and bad. What does it mean that there is good and bad qadar? First and foremost, brothers and sisters, we never attribute to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anything bad. Nothing bad comes from Allah. And you might say, then how is qadr, fate and destiny? You say you've got to believe that fate and destiny comes from Allah, whether it's good or bad. Isn't that bad? We say yes. Bad is divided into two branches. This is in the Quran and it's also in the Sunnah. The first branch is bad things that have no benefit or wisdom whatsoever. They're just plain evil. And there is no evil that comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No matter what you see in life, anything that looks bad to you, don't ever say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees evil things. Evil only comes from people, not from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what is the bad that comes from Allah? They are the ones that are mixed with a wisdom that comes out of them. Allah created the good and he created the bad. The bad he created it only because from the bad there comes good. Without some bad there will be no good. And I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example, a scenario. A doctor, a surgeon, who you trust. If you took your child who has got a severe problem that requires surgery, and you saw that surgeon cut your child open, and you see all that blood coming out and the bones being cut out and he's taking out his organs and replacing organs and then stitching it up and giving him painkillers and going through months of agony. Will you still be grateful to that doctor? Or will you abuse the doctor? You'll be grateful to Allah then to the doctor. Thank you doctor for helping because my son's going to heal. Insha'Allah. But was there pain? Was there ugliness? Was there some things that we see from our eyes as humans as bad? Allah created pain. He created some things that to us they look bad. But from them comes good. So when Allah SWT says to believe in qadr, that Allah pre-measures everything to happen, whether it's good or bad, it means that the bad is also good, but sometimes bad is a necessity. Do you understand what we're saying? Let's give another example. I always use this. When you learn how to walk as a baby, do you walk immediately without any pain? Or do you have to fall sometimes? There has to be sometimes some babies, if you're not careful, they might get injured. But they're learning eventually how to walk. You would rather them fall a hundred times to eventually learn how to walk and not to not be able to walk all their life. Nobody's going to focus on the minor harm. And by the way, anything that looks bad that Allah has decreed is always temporary. It never stays for long. That's why Allah says in the Quran, He repeats it twice, subhanahu wa ta'ala, so they can drill it in our heads. As a matter of fact, with hardship is always ease. As a matter of fact, with hardship is always ease. Meaning, the hardship which Allah allows to happen, there is always ease and goodness that's going to come out of it. What is your duty? Your duty is to assume of Allah, your Lord, positively. When does evil come out? When you start assume of your Lord negatively. Who created the evil? You. That's when you live in agony. Allah says in the Quran, 
ومن الناس من يعبد الله على حرف فإن أصابه خير نطمأن به وإن أصابته فتنة انقلب على وجهه خسر الدنيا والآخرة ذلك هو الخسران المبين Allah describes certain people that when they're faced with calamities, they face it with negativity and assume of Allah bad and they give up and they turn away from Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and there are people, and there are there are people among the world in the world who when good comes their way, they're relaxed and satisfied. They stay where they are and they relax. They think I'm all good. Doesn't improve, just say I'm all good. And when a calamity or something that looks negative happens to them. They turn flat on their faces, meaning they turn against the world, they blame everybody, they have fights with everyone, they blame Allah. Why? Allah says, harf. Some of them, they worship Allah all their lives as if a person's walking on the edge of a cliff. Have you ever seen anybody walking on the edge of a cliff? Maybe on social media, when they try to get likes and all that. They're in danger. But the meaning of this verse is when somebody's walking on the edge of a cliff, it means you're just on the edge, meaning a little wind or breeze may make you fall. So the Allah says there are some people who follow their religion just on the edge. They do the absolute minimum and any tiny little negative thing that happens to their life, immediately they lose the plot. Allah says there are people who worship Allah like that, not really fully into it. And then when a calamity befalls them, they fall on their faces like a person walking on the edge of a cliff. This is the person who loses both the goodness in this world and the goodness of the hereafter. When we all understand that we are created in this world for a test, you will understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us this a long time ago for those who read the Quran. Heck, it's even in the Bible and in the Torah. They also received it, everyone. <laughs>